so let us come back and do some more questions in oxidation state so uh, i'm trying to relate your oxidation state in with electronic configuration let us see if we can further proceed and apply the first given uh, uh, listen information on oxidation state right let us see one more question why is scandium were two virtually unknown that means scandium oxidation two is not known why so when i have to take scandium <coughs> the configuration 3d1 4s2 correct now this is scandium 2 so when i have to do when i have to show second oxidation state i have to remove electron from here because this is the outermost shell so i'm going to remove this as scandium 2 then this becomes zero correct now the leftover uh, electron in d you have only one highly unstable isn't it so this is unstable so when this is highly unstable scandium doesn't show this type of oxidation state so plus two is not sure it can it only start from three so this is because of this unstability sc2 is unknown but it is going to show plus three so when it is plus three how does it look scandium three if i have to write plus three so i said 3d 1 4s 2 so 3 means this becomes 0 and this also becomes 0. The leftover configuration is stable in a gas configuration. So this is your scan. <coughs> now next important thing. Why is Ti4 more stable than Ti3 or Ti2? Okay, nice. So Ti, so titanium configuration after scanium is titanium. It is 3D2, 4S2. Now I let us write 3D uh, titanium 3 and titanium 2 also okay. If it is titanium 2, if it is titanium 3, if it is titanium 4. In titanium 2 you are going to remove 2 electrons from here this becomes 3D2. In titanium 3 you are going to remove 2 electrons from here, it, uh, the, uh, 1 electron from here this becomes 3D1 and 4S0. This is 4S0. In titanium 4, you are going to remove 2 electrons from here, 2 electrons from here. This becomes 3D0, 4S0 and the configuration, argon configuration stable. So, now let us, let us not club this question here. This is Ti2, okay. Now, see what are you observing? This is the original configuration, Ti2. Both, this is half, I mean, uh, unpaid electron, unstable. So, this is unstable. When I have to check Ti3, this is also, only, there is only presence of one half filled. So, this is also unstable. Unstable. But here when it comes to Ti4, after removing four electrons, what is it getting? It is getting stable inert configuration. That is a reason the Ti4 is more stable than Ti3 and Ti2. Simple answering, isn't it? Now let us come back and see. Why zinc does not exhibit variable valency? Okay, zinc does not exhibit variable valency means again they are asking us to relate with electronic configuration. When I have to take zinc, it comes under 3D series, 3D10, 4S2. It can exhibit only plus 2 oxidation state. Yes, so only plus 2. So when it is zinc plus 2, it is 3D10 only. This becomes 4S0. So, what is it attaining? This is again attaining stable configuration. So, it can't expand its valency beyond that because it's very difficult to remove electron from a stable configuration. So, because of the stable configuration, it only shows, only shows plus 2 oxidation state, not beyond that. So, that's why we've written plus 2 here.